morning everybody welcome back to 54A um, I'm going to have a go at doing a little bud vase today out of a piece of zebra wood or zebrano I think the proper name is um, just a simple little exercise I hope um, so uh, I'll get it chucked up in the lathe and uh, reset the camera and I'll see you in a bit one thing before I start, uh, these subscribers I'm getting now are I'm chuffed to bits. Um, it's amazing that people actually take interest in my little videos that I'm making. I hope they're getting better and better. Um, if not, I'm sure the comments will tell me. But at the moment everything seems fine. So thanks to everybody again, I really am very grateful. Anyway, over to the live and uh, I'll get it all chucked up. Okay, here it is. It's, I've got it between centres. Uh, I want to get it in the chuck, so I'm just going to concentrate on rounding this off for the moment, putting a tenon on the end, and then I can uh, get the chuck on the lathe and mount it in there. This is because I'm going to have to drill the hole, and uh, it's better if you put it in the chuck because uh, it won't fall out. So I'm just going to round it off with my roughing gouge. Here we go. That's got the tenon nice and round anyway, but I've got to take this down a bit further yet. That'll do nicely, so I'll just uh, get this off, get it mounted in the chuck, and then I'll be drilling a hole through. So uh, I'll uh, do all that and then uh, get back to you. Okay, got it in the chuck, drill the hole. Um, I'm only going to go down to about, make the little vase about there. Hopefully I can do something else with this little piece, but it's not going to get thrown away. It's a lovely piece of wood. So uh, I've drilled the hole to about, about there. So I'm going to round this off now and then start shaping the vase, hopefully. And we'll see what happens anyway. Here we go.
got no real shape uh, planned out for this. Um, it's just going to be what it is. As I take a bit more off, then I get a bit more shape, and I'm quite satisfied with it. Uh, I think they call this a pot bellied shape. Uh, much wider at the bottom with a, a nice slim neck. It's got to come down quite a way yet. I want it quite thin there and quite thin there and flaring out to a little base about there. So uh, I'll carry on for a bit with my little scraper and see what develops. I do something with the uh, the top of it here. I don't know what yet. Put a little bit of shape to it if I can.
more sweats up there than in my lungs. Make sure you're getting all the little nooks and crannies. If you're not sure whether you've done it all, go over it again. It only takes a minute. smooth. I'll get on with the sanding sealant now. That's the first coat of sanding sealant on. It's nice and dry now, it doesn't take long. Just gonna <coughs> cut it back with a scotch pad. coat of sand in sealant and then it's ready for waxing. That's the second coat on and uh, cut back with the scotch pad and now for the first coat of wax it's um, chestnut products wood wax 22. No particular preference whatsoever it's just the first thing I bought and I seem to get on with it so anything that takes your fancy. Make sure you get it in everywhere. And then get a nice piece, clean piece of kitchen paper and polish it off. One thing about wood turning, you sure do get through a lot of kitchen roll. Give it another quick coat and I think that will be plenty.
think that'll do. Right, I'll just part it off. See you in a bit. There you go, viewers. The finished article. That hasn't turned out too bad, really. It's got a lovely finish on it. The, the, the pattern on this zebra wood. Look at that. I mean, it's you can't get better than that. Um, really nice pattern. Very brittle wood to work with, as you've noticed. It turned out slightly narrower than I wanted it to. But uh, I think the dimensions work all right for a little pot-bellied vase. And there you go. On to the, onwards and upwards. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks a lot. Bye. Good evening, viewer. Since I made the video about the uh, little vase, I've added a little bit to the end of that video. Um, recently, my mom bought one of the uh, Tower of London ceramic poppies. Uh, you must have seen them on the telly. And she wanted a vase making. So uh, I made her one, a nice tall one. And I uh, took a little video of it just to show you what it turned out like. Uh, this is in remembrance of all the people that fought in the First World War, Second World War, etc. Um, both my grand grandfathers were in the First World War and my dad fought in the Second World War. So uh, just bear with me for a minute and I've just popped it up on the end of this video. So cheerio everybody, see you soon. Bye.